I was scrolling through the YouTubes recently and I came across this performance of a song called Big Sur Moon by Buckethead. <laughs> And that performance kind of stuck with me for a while, and then my friends from XVIVE, who's sponsoring today's video, reached out, and they had an analog delay pedal they wanted me to try out. This is called the Echo Man, and you can find a link down below, analog delay pedal. I'm going to be taking you through this pedal in, in attempting to recreate the sound that I sort of identify Buckethead's solo guitar etude mastery with, and that is essentially this sound. That kind of sound is also associated with U2's guitar player The Edge and maybe Paul Gilbert to the enlightened and initiated. But really Buckethead, I think, is the most prominent user of this sort of sound. And obviously we're gonna get into other sorts of delay that this pedal can offer. But really, I think diving into this sort of setting on a delay pedal, especially an analog delay pedal without a tap tempo, which in turn kind of forces you to get back to the basics and down to the nitty gritty as far as your creativity goes. And it also forces you to really have great time to actually get in the groove and in the pocket. And one of my favorite lessons that I ever learned was in a guitar effects pedals lab when I was at school at Berklee College of Music. My teacher actually said that he doesn't use a metronome, he just puts on a delay such as this and tries to stay right in time and you can really tell if you're out of time. This is the setting that I have. It's essentially a dotted eighth note. And the thing about analog delay that this guitar pedal does really well is it captures a real low fidelity and I'm personally a big fan of things like analog delay and tape delay sounds on a guitar. It just sort of fills out the void. And the interesting thing about this effect is if you have it off, I'm basically just playing quarter notes at like a 150 or 160 BPM tempo. With delay on it, gives you this. So that is essentially what's going on behind the scenes of the delay to achieve this sound. Bringing it back to the whole bucket head concept and inspiration, he's really outlining chords that he's constructed from a compositional perspective. So we're gonna do just that and see if we can achieve something like Big Sur Moon. And I'll get into a couple cool delay sounds in the process to show you all the Echo Man has to offer. This is 100% analog delay with modulation. So we can activate this switch right here. And as you can see, we have the blue is our chorus, so. Red will be our vibrato. Almost sounds like a little Leslie filter. I just came up with that randomly right now. We're gonna go with that. So this is the way I would say Buckethead would approach uh, something like Big Sur Moon. He would first come up with the harmony, which I randomly just came up with. So we have C minor seven sharp five chord. And I just went to a B major seven. And B flat minor seven sharp five. off the modulation for right now. This is what Buckethead would most likely do. Instead of playing those chords and trying to get the echo effect that way, he would take certain bits and pieces from the chord and maybe put them further up the neck. So take different intervals of this C minor seven sharp five. That sounds good. 
now we come back here to blend. Time down a little bit just to make the delays a little bit faster. And that's all there is to it. So I took a few different intervals, maybe all of them eventually. Here's the flat seven. Here's the root. Here's the minor third. Here is the sharp fifth. And then we're back up here to the flat seven. And we could basically rinse and repeat that process. We're gonna go to this B major seven. And obviously we're gonna wanna harp on that major seven somewhere, so. That could work. You have to remember when you're moving pretty quickly with these quarter notes, you don't necessarily wanna have crazy jumps uh, if you're just kinda of starting out experimenting with this process. So I'm not gonna do anything too fancy, but it'll still sound cool because we're emphasizing the different intervals of these chords. Pretty sweet. And if you remembered there, I come back to the minor seven sharp five again, so I can use that same shape I came up with before, and then maybe the same shape here, the A major. I could just keep going down chromatically. So this is a pretty weird, wanky chord progression that actually sounds pretty sweet. So we have. Now where are we gonna end it? That is the most interesting and strange chord progression I've written in a long time. It's chromatic C, B, B flat, A, D flat. Let's turn this up a little bit and we'll pop this onto a vibrato sound. Pretty cool. So the last two chords were an A major, add nine, and a C sharp minor, or D flat minor nine. I actually think I'm just gonna change this to A major seven just for the intents and purposes of the phrase to keep that the same. So now that I have the harmony laid out, I'm gonna put on those last two chords, really just the last chord, because I have the shape for the minor seven sharp five and the major seven, respectively. D flat minor nine. Could just do like a... Yeah, we wanna hit that minor nine. Something along those lines. I'm gonna practice that and put a couple chords behind it and then uh, experiment a little bit more with some of the slower delay sounds and turn on a little bit of distortion. Distortion and delay, my favorite. And let's see what we come up with. <laughs> Well, there you have it, my friends. 
the bucket head approach to delay with the Echo Man analog delay from Xvive. Check out the link down below if you like the sounds in this pedal. I sure do, and I definitely like this songwriting approach. It's really fun, even without the delay, you know, it's a great way to kind of exercise a different part of your compositional brain and come up with ways to deconstruct harmony and create cool riffs. And I hope you found it as fun to listen to as it was to play and come up with. Thanks again for watching. Keep shredding.